Hi guys, PJ here, back with another Breakpoint video. This time, how to get the best assault rifle blueprint in the game, the M4A1. Once you've got this blueprint, you'll be able to go and craft it. It's a really good one to go and get. So let's get right into it. You need to be going to the channels area of the map, which is far left hand side there that you can see. And you just sort of up from the little bump on the border. So there's like a a little area that we're going to go to there's not a lot here but there is an awful lot to be worried about so if you're a low level player like this character is that i'm using just be aware that you are going to try and sneak into this without getting spotted okay and the reason is the bimoth that's on the right hand side definitely don't go in and try and rambo this thing if you're a low level player you will get absolutely annihilated in fact, if you can take your AI teammates with you, they're a pretty good distraction if things all go wrong because it'll concentrate on sort of trying to kill them. The plan is sort of get a helicopter, parachute out of the helicopter. You will need to upgrade your skill tree to be able to parachute if you're a newish player and land on the top of the building. Now, that shouldn't be a pretty difficult thing to do. But as you will see, I really loused this up and I loused it up in the worst possible way making this video. But hey, I've left it in because, you know, at the end of the day, it shows you how your AI teammates can be a, well, a good distraction sort of thing. I've landed right in front of the Bimoth. I mean, I could not have got that any wrong if I'd have tried. So uh, basically, it's busy shooting and dealing with my teammates, which are probably getting slaughtered right now. But you can run in and get the boxes from the area. There's more than just the gun there as you can see there's some bits and bobs to pick up as well but the main thing we're after is the blueprint for the gun it doesn't matter if you die literally as soon as you've got the blueprint it just doesn't matter you'll have it it's in your inventory you can craft it once you've opened this box picked it and it's popped like you can see that's it you've got it you could literally jump off and get slaughtered and um, basically as i ran away i did get slaughtered so uh, moving on we're going back to Airwash and we're going to the shop. Once you go to the shop, you can basically buy uh, the ability to be able to craft this thing from the shopkeeper. Let's go down to the bottom left hand corner here, click the little pistol icon. And when you finish doing that, you can go up to assault rifles, second one in there. And you should see your assault rifle blueprints that are open to yourself. Now you've just collected this one, the M4A1 and click and uh, get that one sorted you will need 800 scale credits for that one but i'm sure you've all accumulated that many they're very very easy to get and then it's up to you to mod it sort it fine tune it or whatever mod you've got to your own spec and well you better go off and test it so i went off to a pretty high level area or one of the highest level areas to do a little bit of testing with it to see you know how bad the recoil was and how well it performed and i'll tell you what what the, uh, what the people say about this gun is spot on. It is absolutely fantastic to use. I must admit, I've tried quite a few in the game on various platforms, and this is the perfect gun to use, in my opinion. No messing around whatsoever. Yes, I'm doing headshots here, but did you see the recoil? There's hardly any recoil on it. Short burst, absolutely brilliant. So, yes, I would recommend going and getting it. I would recommend that you try and avoid that bemoth. Um, if you're doing this solo or with your team of buddies, yeah, be extra stealthy. I mean, your team of buddies do not want to be the bait for the bemoth while you go in and get get your uh, your plan, your blueprint, as it were. So, uh, yeah, stealth is key. If you can land the parachute on top of the building that I first saw, you know, when you were going to go and get it, that's great. If not, sort of leg it and just grab it and hope for the very best. But, before I go guys, I just want to mention variants of this particular weapon. Now there's the scout variant, you have to basically work up your skill tree to get that one. And there's the tactical, this one here. Now the tactical one, very accurate rifle. The magazines don't have the same sort of capacity. So on an M4A1 normal, you can get the 100 mag uh, magazine on it. So you've got 100 bullets per clip, which is you know fantastic, especially if you're on the raid or you're trying to take down some bemoths or something. You've got 100 bullets, you can just absolutely hammer the thing. This thing is more of a, well, like it says, a tactical thing. You know, if you're going around headshotting everything, one bullet at a time, this thing's super accurate, super nice to use, but I wouldn't recommend it against drones. But there we go. Guys, there you go. That's this gross recon video all done. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.